For our next phonics lesson, um, we're going to pull out our um, workbook that looks like this. This is our, our scholastic booklet. And yesterday we did the lowercase g and colored a picture of a g, g gate. So now what I'm going to ask you to do is you're going to lift, okay? And if it's easier for you to do this, I know it's easier for me, just lift it back, fold it back so that you're on worksheet 26 and that is page 34. So you can just see worksheet 26. You should see a picture of a gopher, a cupcake, um, and it's as uppercase G at the top, and again, the 26, okay? So we're gonna start here. It says circle each uppercase G, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. And um, I always like to cross out the ones that are not uppercase Gs. It just helps me see better the ones that are the uppercase Gs, okay? Here's another one, uppercase G, capital D does not belong, capital G, and then that's a capital Q doesn't belong. So one, two, three, four. If, you've, if you found four, then that's correct. Okay, and then over here, I'm going to write a, write a capital G to complete the word gopher. And that is such a friendly gopher there. So remember, the capital G curves around, almost like you're making a circle, but then you stop and you go in. Okay, so there's our gopher, okay? Now, over here it says color each item that begins with a capital G. And you can color these items any color you want. This is not a science lesson, it's a phonics lesson. So for instance, for my gopher here, I'm gonna color it purple. I know a gopher can't really be purple, but I just think it's fun to work with my purple crayon today, so I'm gonna go ahead and color that because gopher goes g, 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 like, like goat, okay? All right, what else do we have on this page that makes the g, g, g sound? What do you see? Okay, I see the gate. So I'm gonna go ahead and color the gate. That was just like yesterday's lesson where we did um, color the puzzle of the gate, g, g, gate. Okay, now, all right, I'm looking at my next picture here, cupcake, cupcake. Does that have the g, g sound? Is it called a guck gate? Guck gate? That doesn't sound right. So that one we have to cross out. It doesn't belong. And then down here we have our goat. So you can color your goat any color. I'm going to use orange. I guess I could use green. If I used green, green goat would be two g sounds coming together. But I just happened to pick up. And actually, this is my scarlet crayon. Sometimes they call this orange red or, or red orange. Okay. Remember, goat is related to the ibex. The ibex and goats have um, those special hooves that help them climb rocks really, really well. Okay, the last picture that I have here is a duck. D, d, duck. That sounds more like dog, d, and if it would have to be a guck, but it's not, so I can cross that out. Okay, so that's it. We finished this phonics lesson for today, so give yourself another exit ticket at the top. Great job with your phonics today, boys and girls.